know it seems like we talk about food all the time. We do, but mm -hmm. today is officially Foodie Friday, and we're spicing things up by heading over to Capo Hulu to Chronic Tacos. That's right, with the options to create your own delicious tacos or a big burrito. Oh, the, op the options <laughs> endless. The love for tacos there, thriving. Dallas Ontiveros is the lucky one and joins us live now from there. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Kelly and Christine. We're here at Chronic Tacos on Kapahulu Avenue. And yes, it is National Taco Day, which means you're in for a treat. And here joining us on Take Two, we have two special guests. This is Haley. Good morning, Haley. Good morning. How you doing? Good, good. And we also have Eric. Good morning, Hi, Eric. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about Chronic Tacos. How long have you guys been here? We're actually coming up on our two-year anniversary. Oh, wow. Uh, so October 7, 2017, that's when we opened. Mm -hmm. uh, so really exciting time for us. Perfect. And I noticed, you know, Kapahulu Avenue has a lot of great restaurants. Restaurants, but you could rarely find like a good Mexican food restaurant. What made you guys want to come here at this location? Yeah, so you know, originally stemming from um, you know Orange County in California, but what really separates us is the amount of ingredients that we offer. Oh yeah, you know, t 15 types of you know fresh ingredients, you know, three kinds of rices, and just so many fresh ingredients just to kind of customize your meal. So that's kind of what we want to bring. And what I really like is you know if you're someone who just wants a little bit of everything, you could literally build whatever you like. I mean, from the carne asada, mahi mahi, shrimp. You got your fajita blend as well. You can add as many thing, many things as you like whether you're getting a taco or burrito but right now we're actually going to be building our own burrito so Haley tell me how what is is there a limit when it comes to building burritos uh, no there's no limit to the amount of ingredients you can pick as you just saw there's uh, you know 15 different things you can add in you get your rice your beans the meat all those cold ingredients as much as you want and uh, we find a way to close it up. There you go. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get this done. So right now we got our flour tortilla right here. Now, do you guys have more options besides flour when it comes to the tortilla? So for the burritos, we only offer flour. Okay. Uh, but for the tacos, we have corn and flour for those kind of gluten-free uh, options. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to start is the gloves. Yeah. Make sure we're doing this nice. And then we're going to go ahead and pass this tortilla right here. And we want to add some Spanish rice, mm -hmm. or this looks like steamed rice. Is that steamed rice? Actually, first thing, we're going to heat up this tortilla. And make oh, it we nice got to heat it up. All right, perfect. <laughs> now, I love this thing because it just gets you hungry, especially when you're in line waiting oh, for that tortilla to warm up. Now, on average, how many tacos or burritos would you make in a day? <laughs> I don't even know. It's so hard to guess, right? Well, but a lot. A lot, exactly. And you know what? This space is so cool, too. There's so much neat artwork. And of course, like I said, it is one of the few Mexican places that you're really going to find here on Oahu. So you're definitely going to enjoy whatever you get here. Now, I think this tortilla, is it almost ready? That's All it. Right. We see those there little bubbles right here. Perfect. Um, That's what I like to see. So, yeah, we have our Spanish rice. Okay. And then we have our white lime rice on this one. My favorite is just the Spanish rice we yeah. make in house here. I like the steam, I mean the Spanish rice too. And then we have uh, three kinds of beans the whole pintos, we have the refried beans, and black beans, my favorite, all made in house here. Okay, can you ever like combine a combination of both, oh, or is yeah. it just Some one? People come in, they want all, all right. three of them. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say because you can't, you gotta go big or go home. And then we got our protein here. This is the carne asada. We have our al pastor, the carnitas as well. Yeah. Um, can I pick? Yeah. Of okay, course. I want carne asada. You can't asada. go wrong with that. And you can also pick a uh, different combinations of meats as well. If oh, you yeah. Want. You can mix and match right here. Yeah. Uh, customer's the boss, so they get to choose whatever they hey, want. Hey, I like how that sounds. And you know what? Um, this is really great because, say, you're maybe splitting between two people. Mm -hmm. You kind of kind of split between the options. Now, we got our carne asada, our beans, and our rice. What else do we want to add next? Our signature dish is going to add the French fries. Oh, We're going to okay. make this a California burrito today. Oh, all right. All I know right. what a California burrito yeah. is. All awesome. Right. And yeah. that comes with a lot of good flavorings on top. What are we going to add really quick? Well, you know, what's a California burrito without some guac? So hey. we got to add that in. Okay. Now, is that an extra cost? Uh, in a California burrito, no. There you no go. No extra cost for guac. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to add some uh, guac, maybe some cheese. Some cheese, okay. Nice. And then we're going to just wrap this up and, you know, we're going to be working on this burrito. We'll show you how it's done in the next half hour of Take Two. But because it is National Taco Day, heads up, everyone, you could come by and get a free taco from 11 to 2 only at Chronic Tacos on Kapahulu Avenue. But, of course, we'll tell you more details coming up in the second half hour of Take Two. So don't go anywhere. Reporting from Chronic Tacos, Dallas Navarro, singing back to you, Kelly and Christine, with more.
Thank you, Dallas. All right, throw in some pico de gallo and some sour cream, and we're good to go on that cow. Wow, burrito. that's so much more than a taco right there. Delicious. Ooh. All right, coming up next, some East Oahu students have been sweating it out in hot classrooms. Tell you what their parents.